Hello, welcome to Certificated's first video on factorizing. Today I will be explaining highest common factor and grouping. Now let's take the two numbers 10 and 15. The highest common factor of these would be 5, because 5 times by 2 gives you 10, and 5 times by 3 gives you 15, so the highest common factor is 5. Another example would be 16a plus 24b. What is the highest common factor? Well, 8. So you take 8, open a bracket, 8 times by what gives you 16a? Well, 8 times by 2a plus, and 8 times by what gives you 24b? 3b. And here you have the factorized expression. Now what about when you have three terms? You look at the first number and you find what is the highest common factor? Well, the highest common factor of 6, 8, and 4 would be 2. And you also look at the letters. What is the highest common factor of all of these? Well, AB goes into all three of these. So 2AB would be your highest common factor. You open your brackets. 2AB times by what gives you 6A squared B? That would be 3A, because 2 times by 3 will give you 6 and a times by a will give you a squared. Next, 2ab times by what gives you minus 8ab. That is why I also have this minus here. So 2ab times by 4, and I'm not writing a because a, a, it's just nothing, and but I have to write b because b times by b will give you b squared. And finally, plus 2, and just 2 by itself, because ab times by 1 is ab. So you don't have to write anything there. And this is your final factorized expression. Now moving on to grouping. This is when you have four terms in the expression. For example, you could have a B plus 5B plus 3A plus 15. And here, what you do when you have four terms is you split the equation down the middle. You have two terms on the left side and two terms on the right side. And what I explained previously, highest common factor, you do that for both of these two. So first I'll take AB plus 5B. The highest common factor here is b, so b comes out, and in the bracket you have a plus 5. Then, this side, the highest common factor is 3, so you write 3, bracket, a plus 5, and because there is a plus sign here, you also have a plus sign here. Now when you have this, you look at the term here and the term here. You put those two together, b plus 3, in one bracket, and you will notice that this bracket and this bracket are both the exact same. That means you are correct, and what you do is you just write that beside it, right there, and you only have to write it one time. And this is your fully factorized expression now. You will find question sheets and just notes and everything both on our website and in the description.